Uh, welcome to Dismantle 2, the demo. Just just a demo for now, but it's a possible sequel. I'd imagine a sequel rather than a prequel to Dismantled 1, which was an interesting uh, and messed up horror game featuring, you know, animal-human hybrid monstrosities in some kind of... Uh, uh, asylum and an evil doctor that, you know, making weird shit, but yeah, we got finally a demo to the second game coming out, and uh, I'm excited to play it, so hopefully you guys are looking forward to it as I am, uh, with Christmas still happening, hoping everyone has a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. You're obligated if you're at least in my area, I don't know, US and Canada kind of re region, say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Also, wait. I felt, I felt this move. Should I just keep it there? You know what, fuck it, we're gonna, I'm gonna have a... I'm gonna have my... <laughs> Wait... <laughs> uh, oh man, I, I, I guess I can flip backwards, whatever, I don't know, if people prefer bald... <laughs> I'm, I'm not even gonna go there, honestly. Let's just go, let's just get into it. My name is June. If you're reading this, it means I've escaped or I'm dead. His name is Spencer Oswald Baltimus, and he must answer for the atro atro atrocities he has committed in the name of science. Spencer's lab is an affront to God, and within it, he stitches together abominations comprised of both human and animal parts. That bastard kidnapped and tortured me so he can derive pleasure out of his games. There was another one, a man also placed into this nightmare who saved me from the dogs. Ah, but was unable to remove the device upon my face. I know not what happened uh, to him, but that, but that he brought, he bought me time, and shortly thereafter, Spencer released me for more of his entertainment. I fought my way out of his asylum before the entire facility went into some kind of self-destruct phase. Inside an old World War II bunker, I took refuge. Perhaps this is my tome, for I am still trapped within it, searching in endless darkness and avoiding unspeakable horrors. I must find my way out of this hell should I fail in my endeavors. I ask that you avenge me and kill that son of a bitch. Oh. So in the bunker? However, oh god, unlike an E lantern is Q, okay. Inventory V? In the Doom Engine, I was able to customize things, so it's really dark. And the only thing in the options is music. I want more customization. Hmm. Oh, wait, the hand, the... Oh, the hand isn't in, in like a 2D sprite anime. It's, it's a 3D model. Okay. Let me turn up my, I guess, monitor brightness for the time being. Because I can't see anything till I get the lantern. Yeah, the knife and the hand are in 3D. Oh. Has it moved from like a 2D animated thing, uh, or like Duke Nukem to Doom style to 3D Quake style? Hmm. The door is locked. The only problem I say right now that I have is the knife attacks in a second animation when I hold the mouse button. Hmm. I'm not sure how to explain. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it to maybe the end of the video if I remember. Let's just keep going at it right now. Oh, anything else I should know though? Eat interact. I get that. G for lantern. Oh, I thought it said Q at first. So G instead of F. Uh, inventory. Ugh, crouch toggle. Okay, let's see if I have it then. Oh, it's already on. Oh, geez. Okay. What was the other thing? What was, what was the other thing? That, ooh, almost hit the quit button. Jeez. Inventory. Ah, I see, I see. That's some weird noise going on. V. I'll have to try to remember that. I wonder if there'll be any secrets for me to find as well. Hmm, something in the dark in the corner over there. Oh! 
Oh shit, it is in 3D. What? What? Oh, interesting. They moved to 3D. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Interesting, interesting. I find it funny that the monster dies, the animation, the baby gets crushed over the the larger body. Blood spire too. Hmm. Maybe I'll mention it now, so I don't. So while I uh, while I'm going through this, what I dislike is like say when I like when I when I'm swinging the knife. Let's say let's say I click for the knife, right? But if I click right now, in mid swing, even if it's just a single click right now, it goes into like the second swing. And it kind of throws me off a little bit, because it's like, maybe you I'm just like, maybe I held the, no, the attack button for too long, and it does it, I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Just it preps the other swing, I'm not sure how I'd even explain it, honestly. Get over here. But no, 3D, interesting. It's hard to explain the knife thing that's bugging me, though. I'm not sure how I would call it in terms of, like, coding or scripting. Like, see, it's like when you make a pistol in a game and you try to have a fire rate limit. It's like that. I think there needs to be a, a limitation of when you can swing the next knife until, you know, after the knife com comes back and returns to full center on the screen in default position, like right now. Then you're able to click or hold and it'll swing again. Because it seems like there's, it's a little bit early when it allows you to click when it's not even finished the animation yet. Oh. And that's it. It's very... similar. But also different. The trees are very green. But we managed to get out. Are we going... somewhere else? Makes me think about Turok a little bit. Oh. oh, texture difference. Look at that, that's cool. Like, it knows that's glass. As weird of a design as that be. Interesting. No texture. No impact. Door's locked. I want a gun. It won't budge. No, seriously, it makes me really think of Turok. Yeah. It's missing its battery. Alright, so I'll hunt for a battery, I guess. Ah! Finally, you go inside the room. Ooh. document. Delicious female thigh. One human female thigh. Butter, mustard, salt, pepper, garlic powder. Whoa, where's the paprika? Excuse me. Two cups of beef broth. Okay, one cup of water. Six potatoes, four carrots, one large turnip. Cabbage. It serves four. Hmm. Take a woman's thigh and brush it with butter. <laughs> Just don't don't use vegetable oil for fuck's sakes. Sear it in the frying pan, brush with mustard, and add garlic powder. It sounds like this is like the kind of uh, marination you'd use on ribs, maybe. Hmm. Except except for the broth, of course. Um, send in a roasting pan, oven, potatoes, da da da. Two cups of beef broth, da da da. When cooked, three to four. Add cabbage and strips. Oh my. Bottle pills. Did am I taking it? Ah, I am good, 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 good. Yoink! And I can't take that. Monster? No. Oh god! A little overkill with the doors. Then entered one tiny room and opening to go into another tiny room. Gross. I'm glad I... 
someone coming inside the building? This room is... Oh, 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 oh. Almost didn't see that. Did someone come inside? <laughs> the lampshades. Oh my god. It's Jack Frost reference. Did, did you... Did the... The developer, did you recreate the Jack Frost like that? Really? Like, there's like, there's two Fro Jack Frost movies. One is a hilariously horrible, like, really bad horror movie where the snowman actually has sex with a woman in the shower uh, as a means of killing her. It's you know, one of those, like, you know, cheap, cheesy, low budget horror movies of the old days. I'm sure they still make horror movies the same way, where it's just like, they, they just shoehorn in a sex scene as dumb, or as fucking, like, just, it's just as dumb as it is. It's just sex sells, and that's how the horror movie genre is, and or was a lot a long time ago. I don't watch horror movies much for that reason, and haven't for a long time. We got a key, but I'm not sure for what. Uh, examine. Oh, boss. Okay, well, now we know. Yeah, uh, pretty sure. Is that a gate? Yeah, we'll just leave it alone for later. But interesting, though. 3D. I genuinely wasn't expecting that. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still at the uh, in awe about it. A 3D. Hmm. Keys used automatically, I guess. That's nice. Factory. you all I don't care get over here they move faster when they dodge okay. if I prep a shot when I'm a certain distance oh, never mind even if I'm close come on you I have to make it so like they prioritize swinging rather than dodging so I can lock them in place while also dodging their shot just out of range. Ah, uh, wait, was it? Oh yeah, battery. Supposedly, we'll try to drive away. But nothing's gonna work out as planned, obviously. What? What? Shepherd. I'm assuming it's the same style as meant to be like the default dog enemies that would leap attack you in the first game. Just in 3D model and German Shepherd, where the other one, I'm not sure, it would just be more of a. Wasn't it a bear? Rather than a wolf or something? A certain nurse and architect. Not another word in this matter until your actions prove otherwise. Ugh. You wake like the rotten flesh of your test subjects. Bathe, you fool. I can <laughs> rub shoulders with rats. Of course, sir. <laughs> what did you say? Of course. My lord. Yeah, lord. You do well to know your place. That was sounding almost like Filthy Frank for a moment there. Happy to see me again. Silence, idiot. No time for your riddles. Now grab that boy. We business to attend it. That's not counting on the problems we've got to you. Oh, damn. What the fuck? Blood. My blood. <laughs> Get that fucking bitch in the hell, you hear me? No! 
a little bit funny. I don't know. It's hard to take the, the cutscenes seriously, but... The voice acting is a little bit funny. Like you just have the character coming in I've never seen before, and the guy's calling him my lord and shit. I'm just, and the guy's like coming in here sounding like really angry at the get-go, just so I guess to give you an idea of their personality, but they come at you like, What are you doing, you filthy whore? <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? Uh, what an unusual day, but here I am, beside the fireplace on this stormy morn, nursing another hangover and col uh, collating, collating, collating data? Is collating a word? Collating, 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 huh? I don't, I don't hear people us often use that word. To compare critically, I see. I know, like, correlation, but... Hmm. Whatever. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Most confusing discussion, leaving me feeling a bit peckish for answers. At the very least, I will leave these words here to ruminate over beside late night studies, but I digress. On the start of the new year, Trevor informed me, whilst heavily inebriated, of some rare healing source that once inhabited these grounds. Could it be a rare plant or the ravings of a man too drunk to remember his own name? His animated expression definitely jolted me enough to jot this down. Hmm. Couldn't believe it myself. I had located some documents further corroborating Trevor's words. The implications are stark. I am a man of science and believe in the world grounded in reality. But here I am excited at the prospect of a cure to many a great deadly diseases, including the bubonic plague. I decided to research further about these parts of Germany and gleaned that the area suffered a minimal amount of deaths during the Black Death hundreds of years ago. And as a right this, I've already begun contracting an entire drilling team to excavate the grounds. What have I got myself into? Still no discoveries apart from some unknown fossils, predating long before human arrival. The team will retire for Christmas season by the end of the today, and as such, they will return to the following year with a little patience. I may have the answers I seek. Okay. So, we came from there. I'm gonna punch people to death. I don't even have a lantern on me now. Hmm. Yeah, no, spider webs. Oh, no, that's not good. It's giant spider webs. Me no like spiders. Also, do we? I don't have a map, too. I don't think. I don't think I have a map like I did in the previous game where it would help me find the secrets and uh, give me a line so I can understand locations and where I have and haven't been. the fist. I don't think it has the same issue as it feels with the knife, since it's faster a little bit. Shit. Left. Oh, I'm getting lost. My thing is we avoid going up, because it's where they want us to go. So I'm gonna go the other way. Can I save? No, not during a demo. Uh, guess I'll need a tool for that. Alright. Well, we'll go back. Up oh, the stairs. Shutter slamming. Nice. Nice attention to detail. Hmm. Somewhat the aesthetics both remind me of Turok and a little bit of Puppet Combo. Save zone. Nice, nice. Mm. Mm. Slower, but definitely more damaging. Oh. An old typewriter, it's not functional anymore. This feels like what would become a save room, but... And probably using that, but not for the demo. 
Probably not. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. Oh god! Startle me, damn it! Danger! I almost died even. If I use both and I'm still in caution? Ah, damn it. You can't change. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Um. Yeah, that actually got me. I wasn't expecting something to burst through the door, but I guess that's one of the bonuses of being in 3D, too. I mean. Eh, there's no reason why you couldn't do that in the. Uh, wait, what's it called? VG Doom? I can't even remember what they usually call it. Fuck. Never mind. VG Doom? Damn. I can't even remember. GZ Doom? I want to get a look at this. Oh god, it's two of them. Fuck. We gotta be careful. No. 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 Quite the do uh, long dying animation. This weapon is slow. Probably better than using this than the fist, though. This is uh, a little bit of problematic. I need health. I'm desperately missing the map. And I need health. Ah, jeez. Not good. No! Oh shit, even a death animation f unique for each enemy? Oh. Oh, that gives me... that's complete Resident Evil 2 vibes. And Resident Evil 3, but yeah, Resident Evil 2 and 3 vibes, 100%. Nice. Oh, shit, that... Oh, please give me a checkpoint, please. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, that's gonna be hard. Um... But at least we can skip cutscenes. It's just gonna suck, cause, uh... Alright. Hmm, well, I guess I'll have to just try again. I'm not sure if there's actually secrets I missed as well, which is the funny thing. Because jumping from the prior engine to 3D... Hmm. It's like Wolfenstein 3D versus Return to Castle Wolfenstein kind of a change. But either way, I will skip ahead and give it another try and try to avoid being damaged. I think there's actually a chance for a critical. It's either I hit it in the head and it made a reaction, and also the enemy placements seem actually a little bit random. The first monster wasn't in the corner like I think it you was before. That or they pace back and forth. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that 180 spin in it right the <laughs> face in my face. Hmm. Interesting. Either there's a crit chance in the game, or there's a chance for them to be hit stunned if you hit them in the head, either or. Ah, oh, I didn't read two. I can hold E to skip the door animation, okay. That, that's gonna be important to making it so I don't have to uh, constantly uh, watch the door opening animation, which would get tiring. It's there for aesthetic purposes or nostalgic purposes, but... I'm already about to die again. Oh, where the fuck is health? Please, no more enemies. Wait. Did I walk backwards into the door? Yes. Okay, the skipping at least works. I need health, for the love of God. Oh my God! I got a fucking reference. Holy shit, I was not expecting this. Nico was here? I guess I was. Oh, that is sick, cool. Man, thanks, developer. That's awesome. Especially sexy drawing. Very sexy. Just laying like a, like a French circle would be. 
That's very sexy. Very sexy. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> this is gonna be still hard, though. Um, I need to find more pills. I, I took it and I'm still in danger. One more hit with a croco and I'm dead. I don't know if I'm gonna die if I drop there. And there's no save points. There is that broken um, railway, so it does imply I can drop down. But I don't know if I... I don't know... I don't see any health. I don't know if I can eat that. That'd be awesome if I could. Um, but yeah, like one more chomp by a crocodile. They do a lot of damage. The demo's almost like too hard, perhaps. It's only, uh, only the truest of gamers would keep trying. Oh, thank God. Oh, here, here we go. I, I, you can't, just, in the demo at the very least, you can't select difficulty. Door's locked. So every time you do lose, it's definitely gonna be something where you like you have to find you have to remember where the health is. Ah. The last page of the demo. Facts from Spencer. Good evening. I hope you will stick to our agreements. I'm running out of specimen for my experiments. Here's the list of what I would like or what I would need as soon as possible. Human male, female, jaguars, bears. Of course you want the jaguars and bears. And of course more female than males, of course. I also report loss of specimen as uh, expected. Human male, human female, jaguars, huh? Report losses. Hmm. Well, because in terms of files, see, we get all three of them. That is good. Now it's about surviving and getting to the end of the demo. You just gotta not. It, like, it, it depends on trying to predict the attack animation. Usually I'm really good at that, but there, I think there's like a little bit of a delay, which is both good and bad in these situations. The attack animation versus when the enemy hits versus enemy melee range. Since, you know, uh, it's it's extremely hard to dodge. Especially in this narrow space. I mean, I'm boned in this situation. Fuck. I, I, I just gotta hope that doesn't happen again. Oh, this room is... Okay, I might have to come back here after getting a key. I, I'm gonna probably be boned to die again, though. Unless I find more health. Fuck. Best to avoid that, but I'm gonna presume there's a chance we get a key and have to go in that room. Maybe. Just, just maybe. I gotta hope to find more health. Or hope to eat the food. Because I don't think I've missed any healing. <sighs> Alright. Let's go down the table. This is gonna be problematic. I feel like I'm definitely like gonna die if I get another enemy. I want a gun. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. <sighs> food, food. Probably not the best food, but I mean, come on, come on, come on. God damn it. Mm. Well, let's hope for the best. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, damn. I thought it was gonna, it was a black screen, so I thought maybe the demo was gonna end. No enemies, please. Oh. Wait. Oh. Oh, I see, I see. I opened the door that was locked from the other side. Oh, my nose. So we gotta find a book. Can I put... Oh, oh, I can push it. Yeah. Wait. Come on. A little more. A little more. Here we go. Well, something open. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, the book. Take it. Nice. Alright. I think I have to go this way. But again, I'm probably gonna die. Um. Wait. I'm going the wrong way. Here it is. Gun, gun, gun. Not yet. Gun. Gun. Please.
Ah, oh, it needs a lever thing? Um... Wait, but... I don't have anything for this, though. Shit. This is problematic. So I need this thing, which was also in the caves. This stool here has to be here, maybe for a reason. Hang on. Well, I have no idea. I think we're just missing a tool. Oh, wait. I can shove this? Wait. Wait, well, I can sh... Wait, what? Wait, I can shove things? Hey. Is this what you want? You want me to get up here? Hmm? This one, like... This one has a physical property to... Oh, wait, wait. Oh. I see you now, motherfucker. Alright, we're gonna have to find out where it goes. Alright. Cool. At least we got some product kind of progress. I almost missed it. It was really, uh... Basically in the corner of the room. Wouldn't have expected that. But to find out where it belongs to, probably, probably one of the rooms here. Maybe. I'm still gonna probably die though. Mm hmm. Nice. All right. No enemies, please. No. 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 Oh, fuck. No, see the delay! The delay! Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> Unique death animations. That'll make it so I'll probably have to have it so every enemy I die to it so we can get an all deaths compilation even for this game now. But that means having to basically die to every single enemy and showcase. It's death animation, you know, save and then die to every single one and hope that not any of the enemies are limited in the amount of times it shows up. But, yeah, I'm gonna try again and hopefully take less damage. It's delays, what I was trying to say, but then stop talking. It's, it's both good and bad. There's a delay which makes it unpredictable, so then enemies are harder to cheese in melee combat. Because I'm very confident in my ability to cheese enemies in melee combat in most first-person games. Because, like, in this it just feels like... Un like, see, if I dodge that hand, it, it's kind of easy. I don't often get hit. Although I do have a fast weapon, which makes it easier. But a lot of these enemies, either their range is a little bit buffed... Or it's like their animation happens, and it, sometimes it just feels a little bit unpredictable. I don't know. So it's hard to really say. Maybe it's because I'm using a flail, and I'll try using my fists next time, and seeing if like the fists just is easier. Except in that claustrophobic room. For that, I just won't even enter it, and I will uh, get the key and rush by. Ooh, look at that. The stun animation. Again, I have to wonder if there's like some kind of uh, invisible crit in the game or not for uh, the crocodile to do that. I think one of the things I would suggest is something like this key. I, probably most players will not find this. I would definitely argue that anyone playing this game they'll probably not even notice that. Like, just look, look at it from here. You don't notice it. There's no shine to it. I think at the very least there needs to be some kind of shine. Like, some people will be like, the shine might be hand-holding. To some, it's completely mandatory. But it kind of blends in the room. I don't think there was a shine in the dismantled one. My memory's kind of poopy. But I, I think a adding a, a, a little, you know, a little... Tinkle, a little shine 
is probably going to be needed so you don't miss out on items and important things like that. Otherwise, no, fuck you. Uh, it, it's too claustrophobic to deal with that thing without a gun. The other thing I would argue, just, uh, just get that out of there. Fuck you. Is... Is, uh... Wait, what was I gonna say? I'm almost gonna say the, the pills... Or maybe, maybe they heal too little, maybe? Maybe needs a little buff? And the other thing I completely forgot. I can't remember now. Shit. Oh yeah, the door, uh, the skipping door animations feels a little inconsistent whenever I hold E to be like, okay, I don't want to watch it for the 10th time, 20th, 500th time. Skipping the door animation feels strangely inconsistent. Some doors, it allows it, and others, it feels like it's not working. I don't know. Mild complaint, but... Oh, drawbridge. And they raised it. Huh? They got, they got, they got Tommy guns too. Jeez. Oh come on. <laughs> Enough with the screaming. Our guests have lost speaking privileges. Henceforth, you will shut them up for good. Now what are we gonna do about you? I do so apologize. My servants, they like restraint. A certain finesse, if you will. You have been a handful, yes. And that dictates action. Within these walls, I am God. And your existence depends on me. You're going away for a very long time. And they'll never find you. <laughs> this guy's a little dramatic. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is the demo. Damn. Um, but yeah. Yeah, but no, that was the demo. Um, besides the three, uh, like, three complaints I made, which was just, like, what, buff, buff the pills if needed, because I don't know how, like, things will be rearranged based on what the full game's going to be. There'll probably also be, maybe, when you hit new game, maybe you'll be a cho given a choice of difficulty levels. I definitely do normal. I don't know if this was on normal by default. If this was normal difficulty by default, that's gonna be scary. Cause it, I felt like I was just like desperate for health items, and I don't know how hard they're wanting the game to be, but it definitely was uh, busting my balls. Uh, I'd still prevail like I did in beating the demo at the very least. Adding a shine to key items and you know items in the world would definitely be mandatory. The knife attack animation being. Uh, being off and making it so sometimes you might slip and do a second attack animation just because you had held down the mouse button or pressed it during like mid swing and it does the second execution even if you don't want to I only found that being a weird issue with a knife and uh, and the the door the door and the door skipping animations felt like inconsistent sometimes they'd hold e sometimes mid door animation I'd hold e in the middle of the door animation, it just would never skip sometimes. Other times it felt like it skipped perfectly. Those are my only complaints, but otherwise, interesting, uh, like, like I said, going from 2D or Doom or, you know, uh, Duke Nukem 3D or Wolfenstein 3D to Quake 3D, I was not expecting that. And that's kind of interesting, especially also that every enemy definitely is going to have its own unique death animation, which I'll have to do. And I'm, I'm probably not going to do it for the demo. I'll do that for the full game. We're just like, when I have fucking saves, then I'll, you know, save. If I go near an enemy I haven't faced before, I'll die to it, and then people get to see the nice an uh, animations. Let's just pray none of them involve uh, some kind of fetishized vor now, shall we? <laughs> the crocodile didn't vor you, so maybe not. But, otherwise, interesting. Gotta look forward to more, and uh, as it develops, I guess. I want to especially know how awesome it would feel to kill enemies and... Uh, since it's 3D, as it would be with Quake, what kind of giblets we'll have? Like, what if we get, like, a grenade launcher late full game? And get to, like, just blow up these... Monsters, I guess. Blow them up into precious giblets. That'd be awesome. But, 
for now, I hope you enjoyed the demo. If you want to try it yourself, it's on Steam and on in the itch.io if you want to try it yourself. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a plus carver, and the notification down below for updates my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Um.